attention, today I'm taking a look at a dream case, my dream case. Well, many will have different opinions on how their dream case might look like, but tastes differ after all. So it's only my personal opinion. Today it's all about the fractal design Define S2 Vision RGB. Actually, there are two different vision models out. This RGB version I'm looking at today and a slightly cheaper blackout edition. However, these are fairly pricey cases. At the time of this video, you have to shell out about 240 US dollars. Before we had to deal with an even slightly higher price, but luckily it seems to have dropped a bit in the meantime. But sure, the price is still high, so there needs to be a lot of case behind it. Which is why I'll have to criticize more harshly where it's needed. So now there's the question, is this case even worth your money? Now for those that know me well, it shouldn't really come as a surprise to you this case manages to fully convince me when it comes to the looks. Fractal Design has always impressed me with their elegance and minimalistic design approach and I'm not the only one thinking like that. For a long time this particular manufacturer kept some distance from the whole RGB trend, but now it finally happened. Together with more glass than ever before on these models, they decided to advance to the next level in terms of lighting. Actually, in my opinion, if done right, lighting can be just as elegant and minimalistic, although everyone seems to have a bit of a different view on that subject. But how does such a high price of $240 come about? Well, if you start adding things up, so for pre-installed quality 140mm PWM ARGB fans, glass on the left, right, as well as on the top, the fan hub and a separate ARGB controller, at the end we're looking at quite some. The remaining amount being the Bare Define S2, which doesn't exactly happen to be the cheapest case either. But we're dealing with an absolute high-end case aimed towards enthusiasts after all. Those that are familiar with the interior of the Define S2, Meshify S2 and partially even with the Define R6 will not really see anything new here. However, there are a few little things that have improved with this Vision RGB. What I truly love here is the look of those frameless tempered glass panels. They are kept in place just like normal side panels by two thumb screws and feature a so-called push to lock mechanism. On default there's a glass panel installed at the top and by pressing the button on the rear you can make the top cover unlatch, although it doesn't always work perfectly. The top panel however can easily be swapped out for a ventilated panel along with a top bracket for fan and radiator mounting, which can even be done outside of the case. Really nice of fractal design, in my opinion, is to equip this case with an ARGB LED strip. Unfortunately, that backfires since the LED strip is not magnetic but is permanently glued to the bracket below the glass panel. Meaning if you want better airflow or simply want to install a radiator, the default glass panel needs to go, which in the end leaves you without the additional lighting. A bit of a shame, this could have been done better. Now it makes sense the situation with the glass panel in the front is never an optimal one, but the manufacturer did keep that in mind and decided to make room for the fans further into the case so airflow is improved. But for those that care a lot about good airflow, you probably should rather take a look at the Meshify S2 with mesh in the front. Pre-installed are four of Fractal Design's own new Prisma 140mm ARGB fans. The cables are taken care of right out of the box, so we get a neat and tidy front. Although none of these cables are pre-connected. But that should be of no concern for enthusiasts. Hats off for the integrated fan hub with support for up to 9 PWM fans. The great thing here is that all connected fans can be controlled via a single PWM WM signal by the motherboard. A small and pretty basic ARGB controller is also included by the way, offers nice effects, brightness levels and so on, but doesn't really stand out from the masses. In terms of radiator support, up to a 360mm one can fit in the front and same goes for the top. However, you'll have to pay attention not to exceed a specific motherboard or rather component height. So at this point, instead of a more or less recycled Define S2 body, I'd finally like seeing something with an increased height so we could fit any radiator, no matter the thickness whatsoever. Mad respect though for allowing us to install up to a 240mm radiator at the bottom, even cutout holes for tubing in the PSU shroud plate should you go for custom liquid cooling solutions. That shroud 
cutout plate can however be removed to allow for more room. Just like with the Define S2 and Meshify S2, hard drives are mounted vertically. Three 3.5 inch HDDs is what this case can take and kindly included is a SATA power extension. Behind the motherboard tray as usual, two SSDs can be installed there. But with those trays you could showcase up to three SSDs directly on the PSU shroud. Unfortunately only two of such trays are included in total. In the rather empty spots in the front, as well as on the shroud plate, for some epic liquid cooling you could mount reservoirs. Dust filters we get once in the front for those vents, that's removable. At the bottom there's a long removable one for the PSU and so on. And last but not least, at the top, that is if you go with the ventilated cover. Even in terms of front I.O. things are looking pretty nice. Lots of USB, even a modern USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C port. Plenty of cutout holes and rubber grommets, therefore allowing for clean and tidy cable management, even though as usual since I was running out of time, I didn't do the best job here, but the case does forgive us quite a lot of sins there. Of course a feature that cannot be missing anymore is the option to vertically mount a graphics card. But as so often, we the consumer need to get our own riser cable for that purpose. At the end of the day I can say, my test system fits nicely into this Define S2 Vision RGB and there's plenty of space left, so we still have many options. When controlling the fans via a PWM signal, given the fact we are dealing with four of those, the noise level is within the acceptable range. But there sure are slightly quieter fans out there. The build quality manages to impress inside and out. Price performance wise, cases in such a high price range tend to not do so well. But we are in the class of absolute enthusiast cases here and in this class people don't pay all that much attention to the price to performance ratio. By my standards we are almost speaking of perfection here, but only almost. There after all are a few minor flaws that could have been done a bit better. Nonetheless the fractal design Define S2 Vision RGB did fully convince me it is my dream case. To be fair platinum wouldn't be fitting here, but my gold watch sure is. And keep in mind, I already did turn a blind eye on the pricing for my rating. And with that said, thanks a lot for watching.